Hey y'all, it has been a minute. Oh my God, since I've picked up this camera. It's been maybe three to four months. I think the last time was the summertime. It's been a very, 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 very long time. I do know, but your girl's back. I'm trying to get back in the groove of picking up this camera so I can film and get back to behind the scenes and the vlogs and all that good stuff. First and foremost, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Nakia. And if you're a returning viewer, hey girl, hey, welcome back. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. I am on the road to 1K. We're literally almost there. I think I need maybe like 20 more followers or probably less than that right now, but somewhere around there, but subscribe. I have like a lot of explaining to do. I've been so MIA. It's, it's serious. It's currently, uh, it's February 25th, Sunday, February 25th at 426, y'all. Damn, I really gotta go back and look at my channel and see what um, was the last time I filmed a video. I have a lot to update you guys on, like a lot. Um, Beyond the Skin is doing good. Uh, we were in the slow season, um, which most all small businesses experience right after the holidays so definitely it's a slow season so i've been trying to i've been trying to do other stuff like have digital products i also launched a new business which i'll talk about in later on in the video after i speak about beyond the skin and um yeah pretty much we launched two new products well three actually we have the black cherry body cream we have the aloe and cucumber facial cleanser and then we have the aloe and chamomile daily facial cream i know everyone has been asking for those products because everyone loves like the black soap and the turmeric skin bar and those can kind of be drying for the skin so everyone was always asking do you have a cream and then for those washes you're not actually supposed to use every day on your skin so people were asking what do i use on the off days when i'm not using those products so we definitely came out with those products that you can use on your off days so make sure you guys go check that out i'm gonna try to like put a little qr code here on the screen so you guys could just scan it from your phone so you can go and see what i'm talking about what else Oh, like TikTok, uh, the TikTok shop, Ugh, that fiasco. I know when in the summertime it was booming and everybody's selling stuff on there now. So it's just different. The algorithm has changed. The TikTok shop, we were going viral with the turmeric skin bar. And then once we sold over, I believe, 2,000 units, that's when we started getting violations on our TikTok shop, which then caused us to get our TikTok suppressed. So they weren't pushing our videos and they weren't pushing our TikTok shop which TikTok, your girl got beef with you. They're now just like starting to push my videos back, but I'm talking about going from hundreds of thousands, even millions on like two or three videos to barely touching a thousand views, which is crazy. That was one of the struggles we were dealing with behind the scenes. Really trying to work on bringing new things to the brand. I wanna definitely bring in um, like cosmetic bags, new products. So that's what I was saying, child, my ADHD. Uh, that's what I was saying before that <laughs> if you guys have any um, recommendations as to what products we should bring going forward people were asking for um, different scented body butters um, more body oils um, and more body scrubs so definitely let me know some scents for the spring and summertime or some scents that we've had in the past or products we've had in the past that you want to see come back please let me know now we're gonna move on to the new business, y'all. Let me let me get some water. Let me get some water. Back to y'all. So we have a new business that we launched Friday. The name is Giselle. Giselle is the name of our new brand. It is right now going to be just jewelry, but I have other plans to venture off into clothing other accessories etc the drawstring jewelry bag as you can see here and all the color the color scheme is kind of like neutrals blacks browns golds that type of theme because I love that I'm obsessed with wearing black I'm obsessed with gold jewelry just neutral tone colors so that's definitely the vibe that I was going for and more of like a luxury um, appeal definitely but affordable affordable so as of right now, we have some rings, we have some earrings. I am looking forward to bringing in some bracelets, some necklaces, because I myself need some, and 
tired of shopping elsewhere so I want to be wearing my own brands which I have been doing I don't know if in the past while filming videos you've ever seen me wear some of the samples but I've been sampling jewelry for the longest now so this is not something that I just rolled over and was like we're starting a new business I ordered these samples maybe like two three years ago excited for this because I love me some accessories and if you guys don't know I did go to college for, I went to actually high school college classes at the college and I did take college courses and classes at FIT. So I do have a history in fashion and I'm super excited to do something else that I'm also passionate about. So yeah, I'm introducing this to you guys. I'll leave all the information here. I'll probably put a QR code in the website here for you guys to shop. If you guys want to get a little discount for your first order, make sure you sign up for the email and SMS list so you can get a little discount. But let me go ahead and show you some of the pieces. So, and y'all. I'm gonna use my iPad to reference the names because all of the all the jewelry pieces have names, and because it's fairly new, and I came up with the names, I still have to remember. So if you see me looking at the iPad, I'm just referencing the names. So this is the Alana ring. I'll show you guys. This is the Alana ring. Super super cute, a statement piece, and it's chunky. I don't know if you guys can see. This one is super cute. I love wearing it on my middle finger and y'all, I love this one. They're non-tarnished jewelry and water resistant. We have, I'll just put this one on so you guys can see. Then we have, I have to remember. I'm gonna get good at this, I promise you. I was studying this the other night. This is the Remy ring, the Remy gold ring. This one is super unique and cute as well. You guys can see super cute and then we have I should have tested myself with this one this is the the Jolie Jolie ring let me put it back on so you guys can see this one is the Jolie and I'll take it off so you guys can see the detail I need to shine this one because I've worn this one down and as I mentioned before, I had these samples that I'm showing you right now for two or three years and I've been wearing it. I wear it sometimes in the shower when I'm not supposed to wash my face, uh, do the dishes, as, and as you can see, the integrity of the actual product is good. Like, the gold is still there, honey. This one is probably, need a, probably needs a little shining, but look, no green, no green, no nothing, honey. It's, it's giving. This is the Elise ring. So this one, it has an open back. It's not adjustable, but it's a part of the style. So it's kind of too thick to even try to adjust it, just to let you know FYI. So I'm gonna take it off so you guys can see. This is a size eight, so this is kind of big for me. This is what she is giving. And you guys can see here nice little design texture in the future well near future i'm gonna bring a larger sizes but i just started off with like some of them are six seven eight six seven nine just to see how well each one does and then i will up the quantity of the inventory based on what everybody likes i didn't want to just like order all of them in all the sizes because then you know if they don't sell they're just going to be sitting there so definitely if you are visiting the website and you're noticing like hey the size isn't available please shoot me an email or a um email me on the contact form on the website so i can look into adding sizes if i see a lot of people requesting a certain size then i can add it to the website the bell studded silver ring okay honey she's giving expensive classy okay and this is what she looks like are the jamie hoops y'all it's like a triangle it is so cute i love these so i have these in gold and then i have them in silver as well so these are the silver versions super super cute the cora the cora earring right let me double check again Yes, the Cora hoop earrings 
And these have a little bit more weight than the triangle ones that I just showed you, but they're not super heavy. But I will show you the ones that kind of have some weight to it. But these are super cute. These have kind of like a old school vintage kind of swirl design. And these are the halfway gold mini hoops, the Clara. They're almost like huggy earrings. See, I remember these. These are the Sophie earrings. Now these babies got a little bit of weight to them. So these are giving like real old school kind of thick hoop swirl earrings. And they're so cute, honestly. Like if you're into streetwear, these will definitely do well with you for an outfit. And again, you can dress these up or down. Those are the pieces, y'all. I'm super, super excited. And I hope you guys go shop and get you a couple of pieces. They're going to come in this cute little jewelry pouch. And I got these custom made. And they're so cute. And they're going to come in a nice little box with your thank you card. So I'm super excited about this new business. And I'm excited to see what's to come for it. Um, again, I love me some fashion accessories. So I know there's some girlies out there that like it as well. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and pretty much do a quick little video and update you guys. And make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down below. I miss you guys. And I know you probably miss me too. And I'm gonna try not to go MIA again. And yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next video.